Could TikTok, which is owned by a Chinese company, eventually be banned in the U.S.? House lawmakers have approved a bill that could potentially lead to a ban. It's a path in the Senate that is unclear. Every U.S. national security agency says TikTok poses a national security threat, claiming its owner, ByteDance, is beholden to the Chinese government, which could demand access to the data of TikTok's 170 million American users. Critics of the bill say legitimate concerns about the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, could set the U.S. government down a dangerous path. Let us slow down before we blunder down this very steep and slippery slope. TikTok says the bill violates the constitutional rights of its users, many of whom earn a living running businesses on the app. President Biden has said if Congress passes the bill, he'll sign it. All of Iowa's representatives who are Republican voted in favor of this bill that includes Zach Nunn. He, we asked Representative Nunn if this app is a real threat. It's a direct concern. It's one of those issues that has broad, overwhelming bipartisan support. And it's an item that I think we, it's not too much to ask that a social media platform not be owned by the Chinese Communist government. Because the opportunity to steal, to influence, and to manipulate is real. Governor Kim Reynolds has also weighed in on this legislation, saying in part, we ban TikTok on state devices. Now it's time for Congress to do their part. Now in that statement, Reynolds is referring to her order she made in 2022, banning TikTok on all state-owned devices. The directive also blocks state agencies from subscribing to or owning a TikTok account. Separately, earlier this year, State Attorney General Brennan Bird sued TikTok, claiming it's misleading parents on access to inappropriate content.